Tonight, an Urbandale Community School District employee tested positive for coronavirus. The person worked at Karen Acres Elementary. And tonight, the school district said the employee sought medical attention and is currently in quarantine. This is the first district employee to test positive for the virus. The district will close all of its schools now through the next four weeks. And there are more new developments we're tracking with COVID-19 tonight. There are now 23 cases in Iowa. The governor promised to sign legislation to waive missed school day requirements due to coronavirus. Des Moines Mayor Frank County amended his state of emergency to now ban groups of more than 50 people on public property. And the stock market had another historic loss. The Dow had its worst point drop ever. Also tonight, we are practicing social distancing here at KCCI. My co-anchor, Steve Carlin, is working from home tonight. We'll check in with him a little later in this newscast. Iowa schools will not have to make up the four weeks that of canceled classes because of coronavirus concerns. The legislature waived that requirement today. KCCI's Laura Terrell is live with what the governor is promising. Yes, the governor promises to sign the legislation. She says this gives flexibility to school districts in this ever evolving situation. This provides some relief through, I think it was April 12th, and then we'll reassess after that. Governor Kim Reynolds was firm in her choice Monday to waive the instructional time requirement for any missed school until April 12th. The House and Senate agreed. This legislation would also give Reynolds the authority to waive the requirement for a longer period of time if necessary. With a four week waiver, that is certainly going to impact needs for graduates and the requirements of the state. So that flexibility allows us to be proactive, consider what future implications might be come into play and let districts figure out what their, their other plans might be to address those needs. Parents are scrambling for childcare with schools closed and daycares overrun. The state says it is working to create additional child care sites, especially for people who can't miss work, like first responders and hospital workers. Our goal around that is to really ensure that providers are still able to operate safe child care settings. And for parents who have to leave work to care for their children, there is some relief. Iowa Workforce Development is easing the process to file unemployment claims for parents who can't find backup daycare. We are waiving the work search and work availability requirements, which means that uh, Iowans can expect to be paid within 7 to 10 days of the time that they file the initial claim. And a big question today asked of the governor is why are daycares still open when she has recommended that schools close? Well, state officials say they weigh that decision very carefully, but they say there is still a need for child care. They think it is still safe for daycares to be open if they are taking the proper precautions, disinfecting, and also parents, they say, please do not send your child if they are even a little bit sick. Uh, they say while this virus doesn't seem to affect children that badly, they can be carriers. Reporting live in Des Moines tonight, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. There is a huge demand for coronavirus testing right now. Governor Reynolds says the state's hygienics lab is able to process tests within 24 hours. She says they have added a second shift to speed up the results. The governor says she hopes to have drive through testing up and running at some point. The biggest challenge for that, Reynolds says, is having the workforce to pull it off. An important question a lot of people have tonight is what should I do if I feel sick? First, the experts say do not walk into an emergency room or clinic. Starting tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, people in Polk County can call 211 if they are sick and they want to know about testing. Those calls will be answered by medical staff in Polk County. You will then be asked about your symptoms. The staff may then pass your call along to medical professionals who will then advise you on whether you need to contact your doctor's office. And then you will go to your doctor or health care provider and actually get the test if they recommend it. Right now, this is a triage center because our hospitals are getting so inundated. Our clinics are getting so inundated with people calling, with people coming in. And right now, this 211 medical center, medical call center, is going to be really beneficial for our public. So if they have any questions regarding if I should be tested, um, I don't feel well, they can help answer those questions and then direct you to the right service. 
Now, if you live outside of Polk County, you're asked to call your medical provider if you feel sick. Again, public health officials want to stress if you feel sick, do not walk right into the ER or the hospital. It really is important that you call ahead. Iowa lawmakers at the State House tonight have not yet voted on emergency measures ahead of suspending their session over coronavirus concerns. Is they are expected this, uh, to pass emergency legislation Jay, that Jay, will give Jay Governor Reynolds more power to make decisions now. to react to the coronavirus outbreak. This will likely be the last time lawmakers will meet for 30 days. And new tonight, coronavirus prevention in Altoona. The Altoona City Council members approved a resolution to give more authority to police and fire and city administrator to make emergency decisions during this crisis. The stock market plunged today. The Dow had its worst point drop in history. It plunged nearly 3,000 points. This fall comes over fears over the coronavirus pandemic and the president's assessment that the U.S. may enter a recession. This afternoon, the president did announce new guidelines for every American to follow over the next 15 days. He says we should avoid gathering in groups of 10 or more, avoid travel or social visits unless necessary, and avoid eating or drinking in bars and restaurants. If everyone makes this uh, change or these critical changes and sacrifices now, we will rally together as one nation and we will defeat the virus and we're going to have a big celebration all together. President Trump also urged Americans to stop panic buying at the grocery store. And grocery stores in the metro are selling out of essential items as the fear of coronavirus grows. Steve, stores say they are restocking those, show those shelves every day. Yeah, Stacey, they're doing the best they can. Everybody's looking for the same stuff. Uh, Hy-Vee tells us they're working very, very closely with their suppliers to ensure that they have enough of the necessary items that everybody's looking for. Earlier tonight, workers at the Hy-Vee and Waukee unloaded a truck full of in-demand items like toilet paper. This afternoon, shoppers said some items like bread, milk, eggs and toilet paper are almost gone by one o'clock. Hy-Vee says it will be working beyond what it calls traditional supply channels to keep those products on their shelves. And some shoppers we spoke with today urge everybody to go out and shop for their older relatives and friends who should not be out and about. It's very smart for um, the younger generation to go out and help with the older um, shopping because they don't need to be out in the with everybody. Ivy says if you can't find something that you're looking for, ask for a manager and that manager will help you figure out where it is in the store, their location or in another location. So once again, go ask a manager if you can't find something you're looking for. Stacy. All right, Steve, thanks. Now just into the newsroom, pandemic concerns are forcing the YMCA of Greater Des Moines membership facilities and Y Camp to oh, temporarily morning. close. The Y will close tomorrow. It plans to reopen the facility 15 days later on April 1st. This closure does not apply to the YMCA supportive housing campus. Now, Iowa business owners are also making some changes in how they operate. For some, that could mean losing money. KCCI's Kayla James is live in Waukee, where a restaurant owner had to postpone one of his largest events of the year. Stacy, it's business as usual here at Mickey's Irish Pub, but tomorrow those lights you're seeing will be off. The restaurant will be closed, postponing its annual St. Patrick's Day event. It's a move the owner tells us could cost them a week's worth of money just in one day. That's because more than 1,000 people usually come for a celebration, making their way to the bar throughout the day. The owner tells us with the more recent coronavirus cases appearing in central Iowa, he'd rather see an empty restaurant St. Patrick's Day than risking the safety of his community. I just don't want to get into a situation on the back end where we were known as the place that, that the outbreak started in Des Moines, you know, and with that many people coming together on something like St. Patty's and then all leaving. If, if a lot of people were impacted negatively by our party, I just can't see that. I just, there's just no reason for it. 
The restaurant will reopen on Wednesday with either a dine-in option or curbside pickup. But in restaurants, they aren't the only businesses having to change things. The Blue Compass, a West Des Moines digital marketing and development company, had half of their team working from home on Monday. The other half were spaced out within the office. A survey from the National Federation of Independent Business shows currently the coronavirus is negatively affecting 23 percent of small business owners. Its number of business owners say could increase following a domino effect for industries. From a digital aspect, we aren't as susceptible to this as being as big of a hit as most industries. The only negative of that is that we work with 10, 20 different industries um, right now. And so we may not be affected, but our clients will be affected, which will then turn on to us. Now, both business owners I spoke with today tell me they do plan on following guidelines and recommendations from Governor Reynolds. Live in Waukee, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. With so many schools closed for several weeks, different groups are stepping up to make sure children in low-income families have something to eat. Volunteers and organizers with Children and Family Urban Movement are handing out free breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. They say with Moulton Elementary closed, this is a necessity for families. A lot of the donations are coming from the Food Rescue Program at Eat Greater Des Moines. The stand is set up on the east side of Trinity Las Americas United Methodist Church, just north of downtown Des Moines. Not only are a lot of the children and families missing out on food that they would normally be counting on, but a lot of the kids in our neighborhood are missing out on really high quality programming that they would be receiving this week. Breakfast will be from 7 to 7.30. Lunch this week only will be from 11 to noon. And dinner will be served 4.45 to 5.30 on Monday through Friday through the end of March.